Hi everyone, thanks for joining our session today. My name is Jennifer Wong and I am a UX researcher at Microsoft focusing on AI experiences within business applications. I will be giving a high-level overview of our case study paper on the AI Trust Score. From sales to retail to financial services, artificial intelligence is changing businesses in fundamental ways. User experiences in the enterprise space can range from the configuration or setup of AI to the consumption of AI insights and recommendations to make major business decisions. Due to the unique challenges of AI, it is important for product and feature teams to exercise care and responsibility for AI experiences, that is, building trustworthy experiences for our users. In this paper, we discuss the development, application, and validation of the trust score, which allows teams to measure the success of an AI feature from the perspectives of enterprise users. The trust score is a multidimensional metric that consists of several statements that captures users' initial experiences with an AI feature, which is pivotal in whether users will use or return to that feature and continue to trust the product and company. We view the trust score as an overall reflection of user trust in an AI feature. Specifically, getting a green scorecard on these items represents a general sense of their view on the AI feature for distinct elements of trust. From many product teams' perspectives, enhancing trust in AI is critical to improving adoption. The development of the trust score was a multi-phase process. We first completed a synthesis of relevant research and conducted stakeholder interviews to identify many potential elements related to trust in the workplace. Um, we completed a large sample experimental survey with representative user profiles in the work context. Specifically, admins, makers, so folks who create apps, analysts, and business end users identify the top elements relevant to trust for AI features. So in this experimental approach, we expose participants to a scenario involving an intelligent feature relevant to their job role. For example, sellers were asked to imagine a scenario in which uh, their organization has an intelligent feature which helps them automatically determine which leads and opportunities they should pursue. They were then asked to provide their reactions in an open-ended format on what would make them trust the feature more or less. Then they were presented in randomized order 50 plus scaled statements related to elements that might impact their trust based on research synthesis and internal interviews. Afterwards, factor analysis, along with additional qualitative feedback, suggested four themes relevant to trust for enterprise users. These four themes included helping with job efficiency and effectiveness, understanding how and when to use an intelligent feature, having control using the intelligent feature, and also knowing that data was protected for one's own role and for customers. After the trust score was developed, it was applied to seven enterprise AI features and usability studies within our product group, ranging from predicting values and providing recommendations for business end users to helping analysts and makers set up ML models. This slide demonstrates the general process in which the metric was applied across usability studies. All seven UX studies incorporated standard usability study procedures, including prompting participants to complete core tasks relevant to each AI feature. Then each researcher captured attitudinal and behavioral observations, along with response ratings to the trust score items and additional UX metrics. In terms of the initial validation, in the meta-analysis of AI features, we found that the trust score items generally hung together as a construct representing trust. So as seen in this visual on the slide, we view the trust score as a bridge metric between design KPIs and business metrics. Within this framework, we also found that the trust score had predictive value above and beyond asking about trust directly. So specifically, a higher trust score predicted greater user satisfaction in an AI feature. The trust score helps teams understand the specific elements of trust that may lead to user satisfaction. Specifically, these items are asked the same way every time so that there's an understanding of what is relevant to trust, and product teams can measure improvement over time in a scorecard view. 
Aside from providing more standardized ways to ask about trust, which reduces subjective interpretations from users and teams, the trust score also helps in the following ways. It can help bring multidisciplinary teams together throughout the development and deployment cycle. It can encourage UX-related conversations early on within AI development processes and reviews by having a standardized set of trust elements to operationalize on. And it can build collaboration based on understanding and aligning on areas for improvement after consolidating user feedback. In addition, the trust score development approach can be adapted and can be viewed as a toolkit to be used for your own team's needs. As AI experiences become more embedded in daily lives, we will have more data on how the trust score is used. It will continue to evolve what the metric looks like. We wanted to thank you for your time and we look forward to your questions and the discussion.